Hello, how's it going? We just came back from a Tekken World Tour Finals event where a lot of players from all over the world there, uh, that went there. It was just so sick and oh, as you can hear, like, I went crazy. I, I went stupid. I have something. I got to meet the man himself and I got this. I, I got this controller signed and I got this, I got this cap signed as well. And yeah, it's Neon K is a real one because this bag you only got if you were playing in uh, in the tournament, in the LCQ. But Neon got two with the caps as well and you got those buttons and he gave them to me. I'm just like, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have gotten these. Oh my, guys, my voice. I was screaming the loudest when I saw Kwiz and Yonarong uh, play on the stage. Oh, and the stage was so sick too. The thing is, I didn't I didn't film throughout the whole event because uh, I was just enjoying it. But still, I got to make a lot of memories anyway. I bet Harada was quaking when he met the legendary. <laughs> He followed Fady and my myself on Twitter, like Harada's bar. Bro, that's crazy. And he retweeted my picture of uh, when they went out on the stage as well. Oh, this it's, it's cool. It's so cool. I can't believe the moment that stage opened up. Because this was a huge stage. Like the whole, half of the venue like covered up. And it opened up. And it... And these two came out like freaking WWE. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I did ask him for Shin. I did. I asked him, Harada, will, will Huarang be there in Tekken 8? And you know what he said? No comment. <laughs> I guess I should have seen that coming. <laughs> I should have seen it coming. He did enjoy Amsterdam. I was like, what are your thoughts on Amsterdam? And he was, it was nice. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the moment where he was signing my cap. And I was just... Uh, I was enjoying the sight. No comment is not a no. True. We have to be... We have to be positive. <laughs> I should have expected it. But I was desperate, okay? Your girl is desperate to, to see Huarong. I was screaming my heart out whenever I saw Hong on the big screen, bro, bro. Okay, wait. Taiga, thank you so much for the for the gifts up to Fanny. This was so cool as well. And his signature. Oh my God, I love that. The little the, the, the little Heihachi he does. Oh God. Ah, he smiled at me. I don't even remember that. What? What did I say? What 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 did I say? <laughs> what? What the what? <laughs> um brain, please. What did I ask him? <laughs> Harada looks like a nice guy. He really is though. He really is. Bro, oh, that's so sick. That's so sick trying to not fall over the, the stairs oh my god oh my god <laughs> i think i had an out of out of body experience i seen a buddy of mine took a picture with you yeah that was so like so sweet a lot of uh there were some people that recognized me from when i streamed tekken and they were like oh i like your youtube content <laughs> even though it's now mostly genshin but oh that really made me and Faley uh just wanna Focus on both, like, really well. To be fair, like, the first two years of streaming was just only Tekken. Nina has now been announced for Tekken 8, and she... I like... I like her style. I really do. People are a bit on the fence of uh, how she looks. But I like it. I like this style of Nina, okay? <laughs> she looks... Mature. Right? Like... Of course, Nina, Nina on the other in the other games, 
also had a mature look, but now she looks mature, mature. I was like, uh, I I filmed my reaction of the trailer as well, and like this um, venue's reaction, <laughs> and you can hear me say in the video like, "Damn, mommy!" Oh my god, mama! I am really uh, curious to see how Paul will, uh, Huarong will look. I do hope that you'll have more custom options, customization options. It would be pretty cool, like if they would have um, the designs from all the other games available for this one, or just like the option to have Paul's hair down or up as well. Bro, we were actually talking about this as well. Like my Kumari style uh, yesterday, he he rocked that hairstyle with the with the highlights, the the leather jacket. Yeah. He looks sick. <laughs> Actually, guys, the moment I saw Michael Murray and he was walking down the stairs, I was going up. We made eye contact and I went, oh, and he went, oh. And as he was walking down the stairs, he turned around and I almost fell down the stairs. I had to like grip, <laughs> what was it, the railing. I was like, no, please don't fall. And like, <laughs> and then we got to talk a bit and I got a picture with him as well. So you nearly killed Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Murray <laughs> had some drip, let me tell you. Are you threatening him in that pic? Bro, I need to learn how to do poses. <laughs> I was just copying everyone who did something. Just I just being I was just being I, I was shy. I was shy, not gonna lie. But he was so nice, like he was feeling sick as well. So uh so nice to take a picture with me. Oh it was it was crazy! It was oh my god, I can't. What are you thinking about active butt? Uh, active butt? <laughs> I think that is a, a, an autocorrect. I think that's autocorrect. <laughs> a team butt uh, win, winning Tekken World Tour Finals. <sighs> it, seeing him IRL, IRL is kicking everybody's ass. Everybody <laughs> is insane it's actually insane and just walking off like he was speed running tech world tour the man was literally speed running through this event active but he was active that is for them for sure he was active the start of tech world tour 2023 will be in japan evil japan oh oh that would be so amazing to go please someone someone sponsor <laughs> Red Bull <laughs> no <laughs> to be working for such a project to go like over the whole world and play Tekken and just oh man that's crazy but of course like you have to uh put a chunk of your time into of course learning the game now nah, the people the people you see play on the big stage like it's insane how much how much time how much effort they put into this game it's crazy and how like how would you say talented they are as well i saw you were Huarang main what did you think about kwis and yonarang's Huarang? i was i was definitely uh supporting them the most i was screaming every time kwis and yonarang were on the big screen we were yelling <laughs> literally <laughs> Granny was cheering for Kwiz. Yeah, he did. I, I, him, Kwiz versus Anakin. Whew, that battle was insane. So good. Love seeing my boy Huarong. Yes, it was so so great. Yonarong was so sweet as well. Like I got a picture with him, and we were uh, able to talk. And actually, like he recognized my name, and he was like Twitch streamer. And it's like, yes. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. And we were just talking a bit like how um, uh, he he was enjoying Amsterdam, and if there if we went to Korea, like he, we would probably enjoy it there as well. Like it was it's crazy. And Shin Akuma, when we first met him, like he was uh, uh, down the stairs just waiting around, and I was like, oh, you played really well. Could I maybe take a picture with you as well? And he was like, yeah, sure, okay. And then said to Fadey, like, oh. <laughs> oh, such a beautiful, beautiful lady. 
Wait, I, I thought women in uh, the Netherlands were tall. <laughs> When he said beautiful lady, I was like, yes, yes. Yes, you're right. And we got called short. What? <laughs> like even, I loved how um, we were really trying to have a, a, like a bit of a conversation and he was really trying as well. Like, it was so sweet, so sweet. And I got to meet Nobi, uh, Ni as well. Like I got a around to talk to him. I felt so bad. I think he, he came from the bathroom. <laughs> I, I took a picture and then we got to talk a bit and then he went to walk a, uh, like a few steps further and then a gr whole group came by to have pictures with him as well. I don't want to bother them with their schedule or anything or their plans. You know, I'm gonna be honest, like seeing Anakin play on the big screen, his focus face, I'm gonna have to be honest, is it's pretty intimidating. He has this presence, right? And seeing him on the big screen, it felt like there was just some flames behind him. The way he was just so focused on the game. And then, oh, uh, it was, I, I was starstruck, not gonna lie. <laughs> so sweet of everyone though. Man, I'm just gushing. I'm not, I hope I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. I'm gonna talk about how I became a table. <laughs> I was a table. Yes. My bi a good friend, Fasan had an amazing idea. So he was walking around the venue like with a big ass poster and having everyone everyone sign in. Such a good idea, bro. Like this is so cute. This is so cute. And you know which one I love the most? So Feli's Feli's autograph on Jin is so cute. And of course like I I was before K Wiz, so I kind of stole his Huanong place. <laughs> Mrs. Play stuff. Oh, that's such a nice placement as well. And he got the man himself to sign it as oh, that's so amazing. So many awesome people. Like that's sick. Of course, yeah, Anakin as well and the Phantom, yeah. Uh when he found color core it was like uh pretty fast because she needed to go somewhere too and there was no table so she couldn't write right away and i was like you you can just use me <laughs> and i became a table i became a, a table so they could so uh for song could get color course <laughs> autograph hell yeah i got you I said to Kodokor while she was signing uh, the poster, could you sign my butt as well? <laughs> and she was like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, she was so nice though. So your butt active too? Exactly, I have an, I'm have active butt too. <laughs> I got to meet Lisa. We finally got to meet. She's so sweet, man. She's so sweet. And really, really pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't withhold really myself. I, like, the second thing I said was, Oh my god, you're so pretty! <laughs> and she's like, no, no! <laughs> oh, but so sweet. I got to meet Mario as well. And they were uh, interviewing people for Bandai Namco. But it was, a sep it's gotta be on a separate account if I remember correctly. But she interviewed us as well at near the end. So thank you so much and yeah, they gave us snacks as well at the end of it. So glad, so glad to me when I saw this. <laughs> it was like this whole, whole, uh, what, what would you call, wall? And you had Kazuya and Heiochi and of course I had to go to Kazuya. I watched the event and I seriously want to get in comp competitive Tekken. I'll make Huarong, do it, do it. Definitely, oh my god, definitely worth it. This crazy, <laughs> don't look at my face. This is me like with three hours of sleep. <laughs> but he was so chill though, he was so chill. What about the pretty boy from South Africa who was on stage? Callum, <laughs> instantly knew the name. 
So sweet. So sweet. He did so well. Even though I was rooting for K Wiz, I did not want Callum to lose. He seems so sweet. I, I didn't get to have a talk with him. If it wasn't against KWiz, then I would be rooting for Callum as well. But all of them were just so sweet though. I got to speak with Tejon, uh, who's a player from India. He's a strong player as well. Like he he recognized me from my streams too. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you I hope you guys aren't seeing anything sus, please. <laughs> Because lately the streams, well, depending on what it is, it's been okay. It's been okay, right? It's not too bad, right? Right? So last time, before I went to Tekken World of Finals, I, I, I wanted to stream Tekken again. And the stream crashed. And this was where it crashed on. And I got told by people there in the venue as well, like <laughs> about this tweet. <laughs> they they say the butt tweet. <laughs> and I don't want to I don't want this to be the thing that I'm known for. <laughs> it's just funny. And I swear it's not only this, I promise. Oh, and I got to of course meet K Wiz. Bro, of course. And Kaiser as well. Oh man, so freaking awesome. Let me talk about that clip of Super Akuma. Su Super? What? Super Akuma. I was just filming that match uh, with uh, Super Akuma versus John, in which John Nina was insane. And I was just filming it because it was so entertaining and intense. And I got to catch. Uh, a moment in which he hurt his finger but like while you were watching it right and i i, I was just looking at the screen because this was am <laughs> this was amazing you can see the blood on his finger now but it wasn't i would say an epic pop-off <laughs> i had no idea he hurt it so bad yeah same here same here it, it was his ring finger that he was pointing with how how the heck how the heck did he do that? <laughs> Wait! Whoa! Whoa! How does he do that? I can't even do it! Damn! But it, it was it went by so fast. By sl was it slamming the table? Yeah! He slammed the table. And it was his ring finger. Like you can obviously tell from this view. That is not his middle finger. But seeing a fast glimpse of it... <laughs> it's, it looked like an epic pop-off. So... I, w I was just like, I thought it was a funny moment. I tweeted that out and then he quote retweeted that explaining what was actually going on. And it looked like it seriously hurt. And I felt so bad. I was like, mm, should I maybe like go up to him like and delete the, the video? Because people are maybe misinterpreting this whole, uh, this whole thing. And he's like, no, it's fine. But uh, he's, he just got it. He just got to explain himself either way. So that was uh, that was okay. He was also very sweet about it. Like, look at this. I really hope he can recover safely. But that that match was one of my favorites. There were some crazy, crazy moments. And Jolanda, oh god, that that moment when he won against Nobi, and he was just hugging his wife. Oh, I I I almost cried, bro. I literally did. The Tekken World Tour event was amazing on its own right but i went uh carry went to go do karaoke with Feli and a lot of friends so it was friday we went karaoke then uh saturday you had the first day of tekken world tour that was amazing as well and after that we went karaoke again and then yesterday was crazy it just makes me want to go to more events and just have fun with everybody like all the time it's it's real like post Tekken World Tour depression is real. It's crazy like we got so sad Today as we're just laying in bed like I don't want to go back to normal life. Thank you so much for hanging out with me uh, and just hearing me Massively talk about my experience uh, at this at this event. What do you guys think of Tekken World Tour? What were you? What were your thoughts? 
I hope you guys have a wonderful night, evening, morning, afternoon. Truly enjoyed the Tekken World Tour Finals event and I'm just uh, gonna recover from this depression that is called real life.